If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Chaos Engineering series. In this episode, we are going to see about Cube Invaders. Cube Invaders is a open source project which is available in GitHub. Cube Invaders makes chaos engineering fun because you will be shooting out your parts or nodes from the web UI and then you will make sure your application is resilient enough. To get started with Cube Invaders, all you need is Helm. First, you have to add your uh, repo uh, using the helm repo command. And then you need to create a new namespace uh, for cube invaders. And in this demo, we are going to create a demo namespace uh, called perf demo. We will uh, deploy Nginx application inside this perf demo. And then we will install the uh, cube invaders. And then we will target the namespace perf demo. And here we are going to set the ingress as perf cube. Uh, dot pod so that we can access this UI from our browser and then to install the nginx ingress you can use the helm install and then we have to annotate the uh, ingress class using this annotation and then we have to get the IP address using this command and then we need to configure this in your etc hosts some of the uh, instructions are not available in the github but I was able to figure it out by spending some time so now let us get started with the quick demo how you can make use of cube invaders to play with your kubernetes cluster first let us verify the cluster info using the kubectl cluster uh, info so here i'm running my kubernetes cluster on a digital ocean and the very first step let us validate the pods so right now i don't have any pods in my default namespace and if you enter kubectl get namespace you can see i am running five namespaces now first step is to add the repository. So just copy this command and let us paste here. And let me clear my screen. Now let us create the uh, namespace. Just copy the kubectl uh, create namespace cube invaders. So this is where we will install our uh, cube invaders. And then we will uh, create the new namespace for our demo application. So right now we have two namespaces. The next step is to create the install the cube invaders using this command so helm install cube invaders and here we are setting our ingress host name as perfcube.pod so that we can access this url from our browser and hit enter so this will install the cube invaders in the namespace cube invaders so now as you see it is giving a message thank you for installing cube invaders and visit perfcube.pod but do not click it because we have to set the uh, etc hosts so don't uh, rush up now next step is we need to update our repository using the helm repo update and let me clear my screen and next step we need to install the ingress nginx so just use this uh, helm install which will install the uh, ingress nginx now let us wait for a few more moment and then we can proceed further okay now ingress has been installed and let me uh, clear my screen and next step we need to annotate this particular ingress for annotation let me uh, launch the uh, lens ide here and let us go to pods as you see there are so many pods running in all namespaces and if you go to cube invaders you can see one pod is up and running and similarly if you go to your uh, services again there's a service which is up and running cluster ip and then ingress you can see there is a one ingress so this is where uh, we have set the rule just uh, edit this particular ingress uh, object click on edit and under the annotation let us add the annotation just copy this ingress class annotation and paste it in the new line and hit save and close you can also use the kubectl command to annotate the ingress uh, class annotation now let us wait for the digital ocean to allocate an ip address to this ingress so we need to wait for a few moment and then we will get one IP address. So we need to copy that IP address and paste it in our uh, etc hosts file. To verify the IP address, whether it is creating or uh, whether it is already uh, done, you have to use this command. So if you use the get ingress networking and uh, inside the uh, namespace cube invaders, we will get the status. Now let us launch the terminal and let me paste it here. And right now uh, there is no external address has been allocated. It is in progress. It will take a few moment. Now let us wait for the IP address and then we can uh, configure that in our etc hosts file. 
Okay, now we got the IP address from DigitalOcean. As you see, the address is 159.89.242.168. So just copy this IP address and launch Notepad as an administrator. So just go to your search and search for Notepad and expand this menu and select the Run as Administrator. And here we need to open our etc host file. Just go to File, Open. And if you go to System32, Drivers and etc and select all files here, you can get this host file. Just click and open. And at the bottom, you can see I have added one entry. So this is my previous uh, IP address. So I'm just going to replace the new IP address and space and you have to enter the exact host name in this case perfcube.pod and save this and close now open your favorite browser and type https slash slash perfcube.pod so this is the host name we have configured in our deployment just hit enter so this will give you this warning that is fine click on advanced and click accept the risk and continue this will launch the Cube Invaders homepage. And very first step we need to know is the help. Just type H. It will bring this information. H is to activate or deactivate help. S is for shuffling for aliens, whether you can activate or deactivate. N to change the namespace. And P to activate or deactivate the pods. C is to activate or deactivate the nodes. So in this case, let us activate the P for pods and whenever you do some action it will display the latest action so here in this case we activated the show pods and if you type c it will hide the nodes right now it is showing nothing because we don't have any pods which is up and running in our perf demo namespace now let us deploy our nginx pods in our perf demo just go to the terminal let us uh, create uh, some nginx deployment so this command will create 10 replicas and with the image nginx in the namespace uh, perf hyphen demo and hit enter so now if you go to your browser after a moment uh, you will see all your pods which is uh, coming up here there will be 10 pods which will be uh, displaying here now it is time to play and we can make sure our application is resilient by deleting the pods to move around, you can use your uh, left or right arrow key and uh, to shoot, press the space. So now, as you see, one pod has been killed and another one immediately shows up. So now if you just uh, kill randomly, as you see, whenever a pod gets deleted, it's automatically coming up. Now, if you go to your terminal and let me just uh, rearrange and let us uh, get all pods in uh, perf demo and let us uh, watch it here so now i'm going to zoom in and uh, let me uh, click on the start button so once you click on start it will randomly start deleting the pods so no need to do anything it will automatically deletes and in the right side you can see the status so what is the uh, current status uh, of the each pod whether it is terminating or deleting or pending and if you just uh, maximize your browser at the uh, top uh, you can see your uh, status. So how many pods are deleted, uh, how many pods are not running, current replica state, and what is the delay uh, in the latest uh, replicas state. So everything you can see it here. So this is how you make sure your uh, application is resilient by uh, deleting the pods randomly, and you will monitor using uh, Prometheus or your observability tool and uh, find some uh, issues. Uh, with respect to performance or uh, resilient so now uh, if you go to the menu here there are a uh, few more uh, features are there one is the cube linter so cube linter is a statistical analysis uh, solution which will give you the best practice for your uh, objects if you just click on run uh, cube linter on the current namespace it will uh, list out all the uh, checks and the description uh, remediation and uh, if you just uh, scroll down to the end it will display the uh, check status so this is one of the feature uh, it is already embedded within the uh, cube invader and if you go to your uh, show current uh, chaos container for nodes it will display the details and again if you go to menu and set custom chaos you can uh, set something here 
so just uh, play around it's it is a self explanatory you can just uh, uh, click some button and then you can learn by yourself so it is a great tool uh, to kill the pods or nodes so you cannot kill something uh, service or secrets config maps so those are not uh, it implemented it works only for uh, pods and uh, nodes and if you want to change your namespace from one namespace to another namespace you have to uh, press i think uh, n so whenever you press n uh, it will change the uh, target namespace so you need to update your helm command to target the namespace so that you can switch between the multiple namespaces so i hope uh, cube invader is pretty exciting and uh, uh, it's very easy to implement and uh, you will learn your chaos engineering uh, concepts by playing around with your kubernetes cluster for more details you can visit the github repository because uh, there is some security uh, practices you need to implement uh, in case if you are using in uh, a production like environment so you can just follow the instructions in the github repository thank you for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel